now we're having to look for somewhere to live. And with the two hurricanes, with COVID, there's not many places to find a house. Tonight, new insight about how devastating this week's weather has been for those living in Lake Charles. In less than a year, the city has dealt with two hurricanes, freezing weather, and now severe flooding. According to the National Weather Service, this week's flooding with, is the third heaviest with close to 15 inches of rain over the last six hour period. And what we just saw from Rob, more rain expected in that area tonight. Our on board reports from Lake Charles about the recovery efforts many are now facing yet again. Like many families in Lake Charles, the Ardwans just moved back into their home following both hurricanes. Now they find themselves having to pick up the pieces yet again, this time because of flooding. Next move is trying to find somewhere to stay. Letitia Ardwan and her family are packing up what's left of their home after moving back in January. Right after we came back to kind of assess everything, Delta hit and it's just been one thing after another. Every time it rains, pretty much with the hard rain, it kind of takes over the streets, you know, comes up to the driveway, and then you have to kind of wonder if it's gonna come in your house. Ardwen's home was destroyed again by flood water coming into their home during severe weather on Monday. Pretty much all my furniture is damaged, destroyed, everything's wet, walls. I'm looking at about four to five inches of rain um, that got into the house and flooded most of the homes here. Despite being raised in the city, Ardwen now says they are considering other options. We have family here. This is our home and you know we're used to being here. So we're just trying to figure out what our next movie is, whether it's going to stay here or actually move to a different state. In Lake Charles, Iman Boyd, KTC TV3.